Today is the day. That's a little close. Are we zoomed in or are we out? We out. Right. Today is the day we're gonna make a top water lure out of this. This is wood. It's it's uh it's it's on the ground. It's Bella has these little figurine things like this that are made out of this really this wood, this kind of wood floats. So we have a drill. Is it balsa? Yeah, it's balsa basically. We have a drill. We have some drill bits. We've got some mustad hooks, power pro braid, and some scissors. So the goal is to somehow drill holes through this. I'm thinking it's gonna work better like this, working it like that on top, because it's not gonna sit like this in the water. So we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna drill two holes in it, toss some power pro around it, put some mustads on it, and go catch some bass. Let's try that. Tell you guys, the kids already like to eat it because uh, little G-Man, Gunner, and uh, Bella have already been biting on it. So maybe this power pro thing, this power pro deal, is gonna work. We don't need a lot. We just need enough to kind of free hang the hooks. So we got 65 pound power pro. I think if I can tie a good enough knot, it's not gonna come undone. How do you think? What do you think will work best, Trey? Trey's my cameraman today, by the way. Turn the camera around and say, hey, Trey. Hey, Trey. We've got our mustad hooks here. These are small. They'll, they'll the you might not let me tie that. Yeah, so this is my idea behind it, right? That's what we need right there. This is, Trey hooked the knot up. We're going to cut the excess off, obviously, but just like a, uh, it free hangs on the bottom. We're going to tie the back one on, and then we are going to go get some bass fishing. All right, ladies and gents, we are here. We got Trey, we're at the land of giants, fish and alligators that is, and we've got our contraption here. That's not a contraption dude, that's juice. That might be, I, I don't I don't know, I don't wanna jinx it, but we might can make this work guys. We got it on the Stratic 3000, we're just gonna lock the drag down, and uh, we're gonna make it happen. Yeah. Ben's here too, so we gotta find Ben, but once we find Ben, we're gonna go uh, try to get on some fish. Well, that's that's saucy, dude. I would eat that. I can walk it. I can literally walk this thing, kinda. I got a. It's bugging my mouth. I should have added some freaking noise to this thing. That's what I should have done, because it's not really making noise. And I mean, it's it's walking good though. So, oh, I'm in the mud. I probably shouldn't stand in this alligator-infested water, huh? I'm just gonna kind of fish this thing like an erratic topwater bait fish would be like something on the water, like top of the water, just kind of like acting crazy. Hopefully we can hook up to at least one fish. That's literally all I need, one fish. All right, I'm moving. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yep, we're gonna go right down here, try to cast with the wind, get a little longer cast should work let me know down below guys in the comment section if you guys want to see me do um do-it-yourself type lures like this if you guys like seeing stuff like this let me know and i'll i'll try to do some more holy smokes that is a big gator dang it's kind of got me sketched now i don't really want to go down there because because of how big that freaking gator is all right scratch that idea basically what i was going to do is i was going to walk down through here but this stuff number one was not grown up so that says a lot of snake to me don't want to mess with that and there's really big gator right there and another one right down there so i don't want to be in between them because their mating season i believe is coming up and that's just you know I, like i'm okay with it every now and then you know i'll wrestle gators in my free time usually only like wednesdays but today's sunday and it's easter sunday i don't feel like wrestling alligators today so i'm gonna steer clear of them down there and uh just gonna go work this uh this point up here well no luck so far we're making a move we're going way over there way over there okay so this is the uh this is the next spot and we're gonna it's uh, we're gonna try guys we're, we're literally we're giving it everything we got right now we just need to give it a little bit more 
I'll just, if I was a fish, I would just eat this because I know how bad, because I would know how bad that I wanted them to eat this. I hope that's on camera. I really do too. What? I said I hope that's on camera. How you guys doing? Uh, yeah. Very good. I'm making a I'm making a video right now, so I'm trying to catch something on What's on it there. Just it's like little yeah wood. It floats. Yeah. It's just trying to see if yeah, something will Andrew, something will eat it. Uh, yeah, Andrew China or something. Yeah. Is that your kids? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I have a a fishing reel in my truck that I'm gonna give. If you don't care, I'm gonna oh. give them. I'm literally never gonna use it again. Oh, no like, yeah. We're just, I was trying to find scrounge together some reels. But I got you. Give me run back to my truck real quick. I've been looking for somebody, no joke, to do this for, but because oh, I haven't yeah. found anybody yet. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> Doing a good deed. I'll be right back. I'm so glad that I found somebody to finally do this for. Been wanting to do this forever, guys. So basically, what I just asked him was if he cared. If I gave, he's here with his sons, I believe. But ask him if he cared, because I've been, I have a box full of gear like this that I'm going to basically ride around and give to people, just like this, exactly like this. I got a little swim bait too. Maybe this will kind of, because there's two of them. I didn't, I didn't expect for there to be two of them, but I'm gonna give him the swim bait. I'm gonna give him this reel. Positive vibes, guys. Positive vibes. So I have a swim bait right here. A little okay. sunfish oh, yeah. and then whichever one of you guys want this reel right here you guys can have it for free wow, literally yeah. free i've uh i was uh i have a box of things like this in my truck no and um i don't have the box with me i just took it out because we went snook fishing late last night so i had to pack a whole bunch of other things <laughs> but uh i had this one sitting free in my in my floorboard so I'm i've been wanting to do this i just hadn't found nobody to do it for and obviously for kids yeah Sweet. Well, that'll save you some money, man. It's, it's just a rod and say, hey, no problem. It's no problem at all. You want this swim bait right here? You catch you a big old monster bass on that thing. A big one. I've seen these. Oh, yeah. The live target's good. Here you go, my man. Brand new fishing reel. That way, you just put you a, get you a rod, and you'll have two fishing rods. Better than, uh, it ain't no problem at all, man. I wish I had had that box, dude. I would have gave it all to you guys. I got a whole bunch of reels. I, if I see y'all here again, I'm sure I'll have that box with me. It's no problem at all. We're gonna go try to catch some fish now. Good luck, y'all. Makes you feel good doing things like that. Especially for the kids. Trey, I'm not carrying this Powerade. Watch. <laughs> That's petty. That's petty. That is petty. Oh God, it helps to open your bill before you cast. Trey, did you know you're supposed to open your bill before you try to cast? You're supposed to open your bill before you cast. Just remember, just remember it, just remember that. Just a quick tip, tip 101 for bass fishing. Always open your bill before you try to cast. So we're out here fishing this point right here, guys, this long like bank point. Look at these two gators right here. Literally one right there and one right there. Two, uh, I'd say probably between six and eight feet. The one on the left is a little bit bigger, but it's pretty cool, right? These, this is this, from this like bank where I'm standing right here to that bank, 20 feet maybe. These things are only probably 15 feet out from the bank. So pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I'm gonna leave them dudes alone though and just keep fishing. All right, guys, as you can see, we lost daylight. There's, there's daylight and, and uh, there's dark. So we don't wanna be trapped out here on Alligator Island during the dark. So day number two with this lure is coming now. All right, guys, check it out. This is what I'm gonna do because I wanna catch fish today, right? So this is not catching me anything, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add to this. I'm gonna end this video right here, but there's gonna be a part two. I'm gonna add stuff to this to make this a better uh, homemade do-it-yourself type bait. Because I've got peacock fish uh, and largemouth all around me. They're just, they're not, they're not eating this and I, I have to catch fish. And uh, we've been out here since probably 7.30 this morning and it is, it's 107 right now. So I've like, I've, I've been grinding all day to catch fish with this and it's just not working all day yesterday as well. So uh, I'm gonna end the video right here. I'm gonna add some stuff to this and then we are gonna make a part two. And I guarantee you when I add what I think is gonna work to this, 
You guys are going to love it. All right, guys, like I was saying, that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, the reason being is I, I, I just I wanted to catch fish. Luckily, I changed it up because I now just broke my, just absolutely shattered my pe my personal best peacock bass. So that was, that was really, really cool. So me and Trey are actually going to go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, whichever one, and we're going we're gonna to pick a couple of things out that we think is going to make that bait even better. That homemade, do-it-yourself, topwater bass fishing lure. Uh, we're going we're gonna to add some things to it. I, what I've got in my mind, I think is going to work really, really good. So with all that being said, guys, thank you again for watching. I greatly appreciate every last one of you. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart when I say it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this video earned your subscription. And if it didn't, I've got a playlist down below. Uh, it's slap full of big fish catches, review videos, tips and tricks, all kinds of really cool stuff. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.